today I'm excited to share with you my new bread recipe. It, I call it the festive breakfast loaf. It has everything on it that you can eat for breakfast. Let's get started. For the breakfast loaf, we need the following ingredients for the dough. One half kilo all-purpose flour, one tablespoon instant dry yeast, one cup water, one whole egg, one third cup sugar, one fourth cup shortening, one fourth cup butter, one half teaspoon salt, three tablespoons of full cream powdered milk. For the filling, you need ham and cheese or whatever protein you want to add in. And then for the topping, we will have mayonnaise, ketchup, pickle relish, hard boiled eggs, and sweet corn. To mix, we start with water and yeast. Stir. You will know, I'm using instant dry yeast, so you will know your yeast is active, see? It floats and it forms bubbles, so you know there's an activity going on, so you know that the yeast is alive. That is very important because if you use instant yeast and then at this point you don't see any bubbles, then it's dead. But if you use active dry yeast, you have to wait for about 15 minutes before you see some activity, okay? Then we have sugar, powdered milk, one whole egg, mix this together. Right, and then I have here flour. You can use also bread flour. And then we have salt. Always remember, don't add the salt directly to the yeast because you will slow down the activity of the yeast. Sometimes you can kill the yeast. All right, so let's put this in the mixer. We'll mix this for one to two minutes until it forms a dough. Once it forms a dough, we will mix it for another four minutes. Every time you make bread, please remember the flour or water is variable. Sometimes you add, need to add more, sometimes you need to add less. The amount you add is not of a significant quantity. It's just a small amount. So it does not change the formula. Meaning it does not change the flavor of the finished product. Okay, if you watch the mixer, you will see the dough is picking up the flour uh, on the side, around, around it. So this is, at this stage, you see there, they, it has formed a ball. This is what I call mix until it forms a dough. This is now a dough, see? Then from this point, we will mix it for four minutes, okay? By the way, my timing is only approximate because, you know, we don't have the same mixer and sometimes of course uh, your flour has a slightly different characteristic okay so this has formed a dough so we will mix this for about four minutes and then we add the butter right four minutes medium speed after four minutes i'm going to add in butter and shortening And then you mix another two minutes. Right. Here, after eight minutes. All right, first you prepare a bowl. You put oil. Same here, put a little oil on the sides. Just very little. And then scrape this. Remove this from the bowl. Oh, I need to show. First, you need to check the window pane. Take out a small portion of the dough, yes, like this, and stretch it. If you can stretch it without the dough tearing, you see, you can see it's very, you know, it's very see-through. Then this, you have achieved the window pane. It means you have kneaded this enough, all right? And then, let's make this into a smooth ball, form a smooth ball. and then put it so you have oil on top and the bottom and then after that you cover this with a damp cloth 
if you don't like use a damp cloth you can cover this with plastic or you can just cover this with a plate or a baking pan what's important is the, the top will not form a skin it will not dry out so we will ferment this for one hour or until it's double in size here this is our breakfast loaf I just call this a breakfast loaf because all the filling is something you eat, would eat for breakfast okay so let's divide this into 60 gram portions after you have portioned them you form them into a ball by doing this rubbing this against the table if you have a hard time doing that you can just find a smooth portion and then tuck the rest in okay like this and then you can let this rest for five minutes this is for our breakfast loaf you put ham and cheese or you can put tocino corned beef whatever you want and then this one always spread it out like this You can also do it this way so that you have the dough sandwich like this you have the ham and then you fold it and put the cheese this is cheese food so it won't melt if you want a melting cheese then use the quick melt cheese all right then fold Put the cheese spread so it will be the same all right and then if you have a loaf pan you can put this here this loaf pan is by the way eight by eight okay like this and then we will proof this let this rise for about 45 minutes and then we milk wash or egg wash and then bake and then as soon as it comes out of the oven, then we'll put the other garnish. Here is our breakfast loaf. It's ready to go inside the oven. So let's milk wash. I'm using evaporated milk. You can also use uh, egg. I like to use milk. And then we will bake this at 350 degrees around 30 35 minutes or until it's done and then as soon as it comes out of the oven we cool it for a short while and then we're going to put the toppings i have many recipes to share with you if you're interested please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded let's check our breakfast loaf yeah oh it looks good This is done. So let's do the topping. I want you to see the inside of the breakfast loaf. See? You can see the ham, the cheese here. Same here. Right? So you'll know how it looks from the inside. Alright. Let's decorate our bread with our favorite breakfast toppings. And then let's put some eggs. Mm -hmm. Or you can chop up the eggs, put them all here. And then if you like, or if you have some um, corn to add some corn if you like also you can add some green onions but usually if you have kids they don't like the green onions so you don't have to put that all right and then we have some pickle relish and 
then of course it's not complete without the ketchup so this is your good morning breakfast loaf everything's here you have ham you have cheese you have egg you have uh, pickles and you have the dressing <laughs> 